What's up, guys? My name is on Cage Games. Welcome back to another episode of the WWE Lame to Fame, the Johnny Cage story. Last episode, Johnny Cage took on two <laughs> legends, won both of them, and now we got ourselves an opportunity to go to the Indies in Japan to fight Paragon J, whoever that guy is. So let's go. If you guys are excited for another episode, drop a thumbs up. Can we get this episode 2,000 likes for the Lame to Fame series? Subscribe, and let's go. We got to make our flight to Japan. Let's get it. Oh, welcome to PWT Wrestling, baby. We're in Japan. Oh, this is this is Johnny Cage's intro. You're going to see his intro for the first time ever. There's no music, but just use Dolph Ziggler's music uh, or just th that's the music I chose. But we can't use music because of copyright reason. But look at Johnny. Look at how good Johnny Cage looks, folks. All right. This is the real deal. Johnny is here in PWT Wrestling. Woo! Hey. Hey, you know what time it is. It's cage time, baby. It's cage time, baby. The fans love me over here in Japan. Ninja Mime is a great hit. Okay? The thing about Ninja Mime is you don't have to speak English to watch and enjoy the film. It's a mime kicking butt. And when you're doing it, no words are spoken. So anyone can understand. Um, first, oh, look. Ladies. Keep calm. All right, keep calm. Johnny's taken. He's with Sony. Spotlight's always on Johnny, baby. Woo! The spotlight is on the star, baby. I'm very proud. And Johnny looks good. Johnny looks good. Look at this guy. Look at who. Who are you? Who are you, dude? This is your last match in Japan, and it's gonna be your last match in wrestling ever, dude. Let's go. Start off with the Tiger Knee. Woo! Is that a little race that Johnny does that? In Japan, is it? Maybe. Is uh, Paragon J uh, a hometown hero over here in Japan? Because, uh, yeah, he's about to get beaten. Oh my god, I was sick. From the top rope. A buttocks. Psych. That was called playing possum. You know why we're so angry at uh, Paragon? It's because he um, pirated our movies, okay? We don't accept that around here. We don't accept that around here. To the steps. Ooh. Ah! Ah. Uh, look who's up from his nap. What up? Scissor kick. Ah. We'll go for it. Ah. <laughs> ah. My booty. Ooh. Ooh. So how does that uh, finisher move taste, Paragon? One, two, three. Yikes. Your last match in Japan wrestling and you lose it. Ooh. Sorry about it. Look at our fans we built. We have Johnny has 5,911 followers. Let's go, Johnny. Tango una gran oportunidad para ti. That's Spanish for I got a big opportunity for you. That's all you had to say, Road Dog. Ignoring your terrible Spanish for a second, what's the opportunity? WWE was contacted to send a PC student to El Mago's retirement show in Mexico. Huh? They actually requested Hector, but for some reason he doesn't want to do it. So if you're interested, we'll have a triple threat between you, Paragon, and Chase to decide who will go to face El Mago's son, El Mago Jr. at the event. Call me Booker T. Abuelo, which means book my flight. I only looked up that one sentence, so I'll take your word for it. We got El Mago's retirement show in Mexico. All right, the birthplace of Lucha Libre. Okay, it should be exciting. We got to win this triple threat match first. First, we got to take out these guys. Yo, Paragon's probably so mad that we beat him in his last uh, Japan match. Uh, sorry, dude. You're the one that wanted me there. And Chase, Ruby the Rib over there, just kind of showing off. But if you if win, win we get you get 300 pesos. pesos. If I didn't make Johnny Cage lame to fame, we should do a, uh, we should have done a Nacho Libre. We created Jack Black in this game and make Nacho. Dude, that would be hilarious. Ah, uh, he's big mad. He's gonna be big sad after losing this. Ooh, a little tag team maneuver there. I'm just saying. Yo, yo, Paragon's a high flyer? Since when, dude? Since when? Surprise! Ooh. Okay, all right. All right, Ribby. All right, Ribby, with the combinations. Reverse, reverse. Sweet. Yo, we met each other in the air with the drop kicks. Ooh. Ah, I love those runny knees, man. They're so epic. 
Okay, how about now? Can I do the ribcage stomper? Oh my god, he dodged it! Alright, Ribby! Alright, Ribby! Pin him. Pin him. Dang it. Oh, snap. Oh! My throat! Okay, that's actually kind of a cool finisher. Not gonna lie. You're gonna try to pin me? Your own friend? Oh, snap. Is that his signature? Yo, Ribby, I need, I need backup. Get up, Johnny. Get up. We already booked our flight to Mexico. We didn't get the 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 security package. So if we if we don't fly there, we can't get a refund. Sorry, Ribby. No hard feelings. Apparently, no hard feelings from, from him either. Okay, okay. <sighs> yeah, we need to get up. <laughs> we need to get up. Get up, Johnny. Wake up. No. No. Oh, my God. That was... That was close. Excuse me, are you trying to pin? When I'm right here? Okay. All right. All right. Paragon's real mad. <laughs> no. Get up, Johnny. Shadow kick. Engaged. There we go. That's a wrap. Sorry, Paragon. Enjoy not going to Mexico, brother. Okay, that was a sweat match. That was a sweat match, but we got it. Good luck against El Mago Jr. in Mexico. Thank you. I hope you beat him. That's the plan. I've been meaning to ask, why didn't you want to go? Yeah, um, just wasn't feeling it. It would have been a chance for you to compete in your home country. And you're probably a fan of El Mago, right? I was, but he wasn't a fan of me. That's all I can really say. Just go get the win over Mago Jr. That's why they say never meet your heroes, because Hector probably met, met El Mago, and then El Mago beat him up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, making our way to Lucha Libre Magica. Johnny Cage doing the indie circuit right now. We're in Mexico. Ooh, let's do a one, two, three. Quick elimination. I'm surprised we even got a one-off. Yeah, yeah. Ready for this? This is for the fans, baby. Ah. Can we beat up his dad? Is that possible? Ooh, yo, Johnny's leg went high. What up? Yeah, you can't do anything about me hitting you. Oh my God, this is a mugging. This is a straight up mugging. Mm. People think I'm a rookie. I've been in there. I've been in the ring for many years, okay? The only reason why we don't continue is because we got to save the world. Hey! Ah, let's go. Ah, the rib cage stomp. Tell your papa I said hello. <laughs> you beat me on day one, albeit under questionable circumstances. But do you think you can take down two Hall of Famers in a tag match? Who is this tag team? The Bushwhackers in town. Funny. I mean, how about you team up with anyone here and face me in Road Dog? If beating you two helps me get more recognition, then I'll do it. All right. Figure out who you want to team with, and we'll see you in the ring. We got Ribby the Rib Chase. I already know. I'll team with Chase and still beat you two. <sighs> How many times, many times do this we have lesson, to teach you this lesson? All right, Road Dog. All right, Road Dog. You want to get beat up so bad. You old timers want to get beat up so bad. That's fine by me. Ooh. Ooh. Boom. Uppercut. Uppercut. Suplex. We got those. Okay. All right, I said that and he's picking up speed. He's picking up speed. Still slow, old man. He dodged a shadow kick. No one ever dodged a shadow kick. Crap, he's gonna attack Sean. From the top. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, wow, reverse. Ooh. Ribcage stop! One, two, three. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I cut you a break on your first day, but Todd in security said you're still not following protocol. Sneaking into off-limits areas, undermining his authority, and worst of all, getting your social media followers to mess with him. Not cool. 
Hector has an issue with it too. What? Said he didn't want to let you get away with it. Or get away. Yeah. Attempt to defeat Hector without leaving the ring. Running foot! Hey. Wait, that's so connected. This is for throwing me. This is for throwing me. The combination of punches. Move, ref! Alright, the ref got up. He's fine, guys. He's fine. Okay, Hector. Alright, Hector. There we go. In the back. What? He blocked the shadow kick? Charge up the shadow kick, baby. Charge up the shadow kick. Can't dodge it twice. You're the one who's dabbled in acting, right? If you consider appearing in hugely successful projects and winning multiple awards dabbled, then sure. Good for you. Turns out the soup commercial I'm shooting here today has an opening for a featured extra role. Want to add that to your list of illustrious credits? As amazing as that sounds, I think I'm going to focus on my training today instead. You think you're too good to get a bowl of clam chowder dumped on your head? Because reality check. You're not. On second thought, that really sounds like the type of challenging part I could sink my teeth into. I'm going to start thinking about my character's motivation and get back to you. Okay, fine. You don't want to be in my commercial. Then when I'm done filming, meet me in the ring for a match. FYI, I will be eating several bowls of very filling, chunky soup during the shoot, which could slow me down <laughs> or give me cramps. But I'll overcome that adversity and still beat you because I am awesome. Let's go, Miz. I love how his character's already injured. His stomach is already injured because he ate too much. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh. All right, Miz. All right, Miz. Oh, no. Nice. All right. All right. Playing a little dirty, huh? Playing a little dirty, I'm Miz. Well, guess what? I can play dirty too. Enjoy this. Ooh, that was a fake out. That's a fake out move. Going for the cage rib stomper. Hey! Miz won't be uh, having any more kids. <laughs> I haven't checked in with you for a bit. Are you holding up? I think I'm doing all right. I mean. I wouldn't be here still if I wasn't, right? True. There's not a lot of patience for mediocrity around here. Reminds me of something my old man used to say. Good enough is only good enough if you're good enough. Oh, okay. He really had a way with words. I think what he meant was you can coast by if you have the talent, but if not, you better work twice as hard to make up for it. Makes sense, I guess. Does he offer you gems like that all the time? Not anymore. <laughs> We haven't really talked in a while. Yeah, anyway, speaking of working twice as hard, in Mexico, two out of three false matches are very popular. I was thinking it would be cool if you and I had one here at the PC. What do you think? I'd be honored. Let's do it. Okay, all right. We actually landed it, nice. Oof. Face full of shoe. <laughs> uh, what a loser! What a loser! What just happened? Yes, I can. Ah! Dang it! Stay down. It's one. And thanks for playing, Hector. If you're really going to stick with this better than everyone act, you need to be able to back it up. That being said, we've got an indie wrestler with a PC tryout today. And Ooh. We really want to test their metal. If you're such a hot shot, think you can keep them down for 10 seconds? Easy. They call me 10 second. Wait, no, they don't call me that. <laughs> Look at this guy, Cole Quinn. 
What are you? What are you? A rookie? Or well, kind of, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Ooh, sorry about a rook. Sorry about a rook. I'm me. Let me show you the ropes, rookie. Ooh. Ooh, we're going flying. I finally land that move. Oh. How did we even make it up there? All right, time to hit him with the rib cage stomp. And back for the cage rib stomper. And then going for the shadow kick. All right, he's done. You know what? Another one. I'm ending this kid's career. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Bada bing. Oh, look at Cole fighting back. Aren't you cool? Psych. We'll get up after this. What? You dodged two of my shadow kicks? All right, you ain't dodging a third one, all right? You ain't dodging a third one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. I guess we're going to call that the end of the second episode of the WWE Lame to Fame, the Johnny Cage story. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know who do you guys think should play Johnny Cage in the Mortal Kombat 2 movie? A lot of people said The Miz. Eh, I want Ryan Reynolds. I want Chris Evans. I want, you know what? Give me Chris Pratt. I don't know. Just, I don't know if I want The Miz. You know, Scott Adkins. Anyone else? <laughs> but let me know who you think should play Johnny in the movie sequel down below. Like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Ring the bell icon so you guys can notified every time we upload a brand new video. Mine's on Cage Games and you just got K. Ooh, we'll do the talking, baby. Shut up. Wait, that's Road Dog? Oh my god, I didn't even do that.